What's up YouTube, MacGyver7 here, and today we're gonna to talk about an easy way to get the Google Play Store on your Fire TV stick. Um, the app that we're gonna be using today is called Yelp Store. Uh, it's been around for quite some time now, and it works pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. So I'm gonna click on Yelp Store, and this is the icon that you're gonna look for at my following store. So when you go in the following store, look for this icon, it's gonna see Yelp Store next to it. You're gonna go ahead and download it. It will look just like this. We're gonna hit select it and it's gonna open up. Now when it opens up, it's gonna show your apps. So what that means is that it's gonna show the current apps that you have on your Fire TV stick. So your screen may not look like mine because you probably don't have the same apps that I do or in the same order. So don't be alarmed if your screen is not like mine. It's just showing you whatever apps you have on your Fire TV stick. All right, so to get started with this app, you wanna click on the icon, the top left corner. Uh, it has three horizontal lines. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna go down to settings next. Now, if you go down to settings, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom here and you're going to look for where it says pretend to be a different device. And the reason why we have to use this is because the Amazon Fire TV stick is only set up for the Amazon App Store uh, because Amazon owns the device. So they have their own store. It makes sense. But if you're like me and you just want to have another avenue or a different app store available like the Google Play Store, uh, you can actually use this app to make your device um, be seen in the Google Play Store. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to kind of trick the Google Play Store into thinking that our Amazon Fire TV stick is not that and it's something else, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Now, uh, when you get to this, you're gonna get an entire list of all different types of uh, devices that we can kind of pretend to make our Fire TV stick uh, act like. So um, once we click on one of these devices, our Fire TV stick would then be seen as that device that we click on and the uh, Google Play Store will allow our device to go ahead and access it and download those apps. So uh, be it that I have a Fire TV or Fire TV stick and it's made for the TV, I'm gonna look for a device that is similar to that, all right? So in order to do that, you're just gonna use the directional keypad on your remote. You're gonna go down and there's two that you can look for. Or actually, there's a couple. Um, what I like to use is the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. Um, Everyone knows about NVIDIA Shield TV. They're really good at making their products. And this to me is a, is a great device to kind of spoof our Fire Stick to be in the Google Play Store. And also it's gonna mean, it's gonna basically make sure that the apps that we search for in the Google Play Store are optimized for a TV or Android TV device. So I'm gonna select that. Now, you can't select it with the directional keypad on your remote, so you're gonna have to use a virtual one, uh, which means you can use mouse toggle. So if you watched my earlier video, you already have that installed on your Fire TV stick. So I'm going to go ahead and use mouse toggle and I'm going to select it just like that. All right, now NVIDIA Shield is there. Pretend to be a different device is there. Boom, boom, we're good to go. And then I'm going to get out of my mouse toggle here. All right, now at the top here, there's a couple things you can do. Now, everything's set up. You're going to go over here back to the three lines. You're going to go to where it says categories. Now, once you go to categories, it's going to go ahead and start to log you in as that device. All right. I'm just going to wait for it to load up and get it going. Um, now, your device loading may be a little bit different than mine. Your Wi-Fi may be faster, or maybe slower. It's okay. Just wait for it to go away. Now, you notice that these are the same categories you can find in the Google Play Store. So the cool thing about it is I can go to any of these categories and get those apps that are available. So if I want to go to, let's say, entertainment, um, what do you know? Here are all of the apps found in the Google Play Store. Now, when you select an app, keep in mind, you're gonna to have to use that mouse toggle again to download, all right? So if let's say I wanna do Pluto TV. I'm gonna click on Pluto TV, and then I'm gonna double click my mouse toggle to get it to activate, and we'll click download, all right? And it's gonna start downloading, and then when I want to install, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to touch the install button, and Boom, there it is. I can actually install this directly onto my Fire TV stick. So um, that's pretty much it for this app. And this is how it works. And this is what you're gonna have to do to get it up and running. Um, and it does have a search function as well. So let's say that you wanna do categories, you just know what you want. Uh, on the other side there, there is a search function there um, that you can actually use. Um, to find that app and download it right away. All right, so my goal guys is to bring you guys the best possible apps you can have for our TV stick. So if you don't have this installed already, 
go ahead and install it, go into my store, download it right now, use it and take advantage of the different things that you can do with the Google Play Store. There's a lot of other apps out there that work really well on the Fire TV Stick. So be sure to check this out. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. I know it's going to be a short video, but I just wanted to cover this app because it's really cool and it works. And again, if you guys have watched my other video, I use that word a lot works because that's the big thing for everyone if the app works we're happy so this app works and it allows you to download all kinds of apps so it's definitely something you need to have on your fire tv stick and your app arsenal as well so thanks again guys for tuning in and watching um again comment below if you if you like this enjoyed this video and it worked out for you also if you need help or anything's going on or something's different Definitely let me know in the comment section so I can help you out and communicate with you. I'm always open. Also, guys, just like the video and also subscribe to my channel as well to help me build this channel into something big. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.